Mr. President, allow me to turn to certain existential challenges facing my country, my region, and the world. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is angered by the continued and inexcusable failure of the states assembled in this room to move decisively towards a meaningful and legally binding climate change treaty. Entire nations that currently occupy this assembly, whose representatives sit among us as friends and equals, may simply cease to exist as a result of our inaction and political cowardice. Other nations, including my own, are already victim of increasingly intense and frequent storms, hurricanes, and weather events. These changes threaten not only our way of life, but risk reversing our recent developmental progress. The islands of our planet are at war against climate change, warming temperatures and rising seas. This war is not a future event. It is a present day and ongoing battle. All of us in this assembly are aware it is a war that we are currently losing. The survival of our islands is at stake and the responsibility for immediate change lies undisputedly with those whose reckless pollution over generations has led us to the brink of catastrophe. In a different time and context, Winston Churchill inspired his people and the world to, quote, fight on the seas and oceans and defend our island whatever the cost may be, unquote. Today, excellencies know this. We shall fight the rising seas and encroaching oceans and defend our island's right to exist at any cost. We call on all nations to join us in the fight, for this is a war that can still be won. Our negotiations to arrest climate change are not merely some arcane academic or diplomatic pursuit and cannot be treated as any interminable run-of-the-mill United Nations process. Let us set aside narrow, short-term interests and act as we are capable of acting for the benefit and protection of all mankind. 